Oh, good afternoon, everyone. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are empowered in the Lord. I pray that you are walking in the Lord in spirit and in truth. Okay. Um, who? Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Um, so <laughs> God is just so good. And I'm serious. Just three days ago, God had explained to me, and I'll go ahead and be very transparent how it came about. I was on Facebook, and you know how you click on maybe some kind of um, story or something? So it showed up all the the celebrities that had been dated over the years. And the Holy Spirit is always speaking to me. He said, do you think that they just died? I said, I know they didn't. He said, you're right. He said, the elite plan every death. You see, this thing, this thing is deep. And I know to the... To the unlearned and to the people that does not have spirit to wisdom and understanding and discernment, they don't understand exactly what I'm saying. What am I saying? In a nutshell, these stars do not just die. I know you think so. Now, let me be, let me clarify myself. Some do natural causes or death, but most of them are actually induced. And I'm very serious. God told me about Elvis Presley like years ago, how at a certain mark, when they get in their career, they have to pay the piper. So let's talk. Let, let's begin this video. And this is a thus saith the Lord. You're going to see more deaths. As a matter of fact, I have a hard thus saith the Lord because when it comes to the body of Christ, I hate when judgment falls on us. But God said that even some of the leaders are going to die. I'm telling you what thus saith the Lord because they stepped out of the rim of protection and they have shaken hands with the enemy. The enemy does not play fair, you guys. Once you shake hands with the enemy, there is something that required of you. And if you ask for riches and fame and they made it happen, then your life is required. Your soul is required. Do you understand that? I don't think people understand. They think it's a game. This is not a game. Now, I pray for everyone, but we have to also use wisdom and we also have to be real when we're making decisions that affect our life our soul you have to understand they made a decision they made a choice and their decision is i want to be famous i want fame i don't care what happens i don't care when it happens and so you have to understand these people have their lives in their hand which is the elite the Illuminati, however you want to call them. The enlightened ones, they go by so many names. This is true. They are a secret society. They run the world. They, We have never selected a president. I know you think we have. No, we haven't. They make, they make us believe that we have choices. They make us believe that we have power enough to do this and that. And I know, I know it sounds crazy. Trust me. I, I, when God tells me certain things or the Holy Spirit reveals things, some, I'm the first one to say, I feel like I've been living a lie. And actually we have. We've been trained systematically and didn't even know it from grades 1 through 12. Then they tell you to go to college and do the get the American dream. Then you end up in so much debt because of college loans. Do y'all think that that's just a coincidence? I guarantee you these people, they're very systematic and calculating. <laughs> I learned all about them when I was in L.A. I know what I'm talking about. And I've been in the midst of stuff, so nobody can tell me nothing. I saw some things with my own eyes. Sorry. And that's just the way it is. And maybe that's why God chose me. I don't know. But I do know that that man, Prince, the man that we know as Prince, he did not just die. Black China did not just die. Let me tell you what thus said the Lord. Martial law and all these things, the World War Order is going to happen. And a lot of people thought they can deal with it because millions are going to die. And a lot of them finding out, wait a minute, I, I can't deal with this. My conscience, you know, I may have sold my soul, but it it's still living. I'm still on earth, so I have a soul. And some of these people, they're, they don't like what's getting ready to happen. So they're rising up and the elite is saying, terminate them. Yeah, it, when, when there's a hit in the elite, they say terminate because they feel like they made you and now I can break you. And that's what most stars, you guys. So that's that also shows the rest of them stay in line or, or this going to happen to you next. 
And I'm so serious. I'm telling you, but thus saith the Lord, this is not anything researched, rehearsed. Oh, come on, somebody. I talk to God about everything. I'm very nosy. I ask God everything because I want to know because I don't ever want to lie, put out malicious rumors. But when the Holy Ghost speak, nobody can't tell me nothing. So I'm doing this video to let you know to pray for everybody. Because things are getting ready to happen. I see even pastors, leaders, even some of the prophets I have taught. Um, you know, next year I'm going to do this and, and this is going to, and I'm not trying to be a doom and gloom apostle and prophet. I'm just telling you, we don't have next year. And I know you think I'm crazy. Just keep the video. That's why I do videos like this. Keep it. Because I'm telling you, these things are getting ready to happen. That Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, that's all a facade. They're trying to keep you and distract you on this while they come the back way. These things are getting ready to happen. And my God, my God, you're going to wish for another chance to, to have at least listened. Because now when things happen so abruptly, you panic and you don't know what to do. And I'm telling you, God has been telling me to tell y'all this for almost two years. And most of you think, oh, Apostle Deanna is crazy. God, I wish I was. Because this hurts my heart and my spirit. But the thing that makes me happy is that we're going to be with the Lord. Yes, they're going to do what they're going to do. It is written. And I promise you, revelations will come true. There's nothing you can do. You can't pray it away. You can't wish it away. You can't, okay, God, just take me now. I, some of us have tried to ask that. Come on, somebody. It has to happen. Scripture must be fulfilled. But I know one thing. I've also been to heaven. Yes, I have. God took me to heaven. I think it was in, oh God. I don't remember the year. Not that I can't lie to you. I should have wrote that, that down the year at least. But I remember there was a heaven. Can't say I've been to hell. Sorry, I'm not going to lie. But I've been to heaven. And I know that God has prepared a place for us. No more crying, no more lying, no more dying, no more nothing. But until then, we have to stay on this side. God is going to prepare us. God is going, God is going to send people. You know, a lot of people, I, I know they look at me and they say, why her? Maybe because I had such a crazy past and I've always been bold. So God said, I'm going to use her because she, she she was crazy then. So she'll be crazy for me now. Praise God. Somebody, I say, say amen. Hallelujah. I don't mind saying what does said the Lord. If I did it when I was uh, unsaved, how much more should I be when I'm saved? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I'm just here to tell you, prepare yourselves. Prepare your hearts. Prepare your minds. If, if most of you would stop, you know, you're just watching.